Louisiana Beer Reviews, French Broad 13 Rebels ESB. There were a few video reviews for this beer, and <clears throat> people like Greg and others said, eh, it's okay. They weren't super impressed with it. Uh, we'll see. I bought this at Dorgnax. It was $4.99. All their bottles, 22 ounce bottles, are $4.99. 5.2% alcohol. Uh, 42 IBUs. It says 142, but that, that can't be correct. They use Golding's hops. Don't know about the malts or anything. Gets a good score on Beer Advocate. On Rape here, only a 49 out of 100, 61 out of 100 for the style. And on Beer Advocate, the bros haven't tried it, of course. Alright, 13 Rebels, 13 Colonies, and a Skull. Crossbones for whatever reason. Okay. windy so there is smoke water vapor but it's gonna blow right away here at 10 o'clock 10 10 minutes after 10 okay wow that is a thick cream colored head in a murky bright orange appearance yeah, now from that direction with the sun shining at it, it's not so bright. With the sun shining through the beer, it's like it's a glow. It's glowing like a lamp. All right. Now the aroma. It does have that toffee, that light fruit like dates and um, fig sort of thing. Mild hop oils. The British style hop oils, toffee, little candy, malty. Um, I guess my favorite ESB is uh, is Fuller's. Let's go with the flavor. Yeah, it still has a strange taste, like the other two French broad beers I did. This is, a, this is an odd company. And their brewing process must be unique. It's sort of an indescribable type character. You'd have to try it for yourself. But it's a strange, strange citrusy even in a gripping flavor it's not bad like the other two the more i drank them the more i liked them but they were so odd and they didn't really seem to fit the style canadian mesh oh no i'm sorry that's the kansas city southern railroad Oh, that's carbonated. Oh, there's prickly. It like hurts to go down. Caught it on a bad bubble. Uh, stringy lacing. There they go. I don't know what to say about it. It's certainly not bad. The mouthfeel is medium to heavy. So it's in the medium range, and the finish is semi-dry. It's fairly easy drinking, and it's odd. I don't know if they're using crystal malts. I don't know. It's really strange. It's sort of chewy. You might find it sort of like... Oof. I like it, but... Uh, that really tastes like ESB. Maybe in this case it's extra strange bitter. Yeah, okay. Extra strange bitter. From an extra strange, extra strange brewery. So, um, I would give it a B plus. I think it's very good, but it's odd. So, Laissez-le Bon Temps Roulet, 
This is an oddity, once again, for the third straight time. And there's a one or two more bottles I noticed at Dorgnax, and I'm going to have to try those soon. Y'all come on down to dry and sunny and not so warm, only going to be 75 degrees today. Southeastern Louisiana.